Oops. I think your saved game is corrupted. Just kidding. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We are back with another part of our Detroit series and today we will be solving a murder with help of Connor. So let's find the killer guys. But first we have to find our partner, Detective Hank Anderson. Oh, so no androids are allowed here. Hmm, this will be fun. So, what do we have here? George, what allowed in here? Yeah, so what? I'm a special one, Derek. It's your problem. Provide me drink. This one should be arrested. So I thought. Oh, so here you are. I have been looking for you, sir. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. I apologize, Lieutenant. I didn't mean to bother you. I'll wait for you outside. Take your time. Did you say homicide? Josh Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Typical DPD, they don't tell us shit. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around 8 from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's 
when he found the body. Jesus, that smell! It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. But worth calling everybody out. Out in the middle of the night. Could have waited until morning. I'd say he's been there for a good th three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. And he's sign of a break in. Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Okay, so let's figure out what happened to this junkie here. human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. I really like this reconstruct option. We can see exactly what happened in real time. was locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, 
This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. This is brutal guys. The killer must be filled with rage and anger otherwise no one stabs anyone this many times. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the living room. tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. Isn't it interesting guys how Connor and Hank are solving this case? What in the world is this? And what is RA9?
Let's find something to reach the attic. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Ah. Gotta check something. I really think the killer is hiding here only because no one has left the house as per all the evidences and also the blue blood trail led us straight to this attic. So let's find our killer. Are you trying to scare me game? Really? Just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Oh man, I thought we will be given an option to save this android, but sadly the game had other plans. So that's it for this episode guys, we will be back with another part of this awesome series, till then be happy, be safe, bye bye.